What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6, our triad of randomized challenge, our plethora of randomized challenges. While I just bide time, and uh, honestly, at this point, get back to my computer to record things speaking to you in the past but about the future which for you is the present spooky stuff because this will be coming out November 30th I think so I'll be away I should have all the components I need to start recording Pokemon but I'll just be away so that's why you guys are getting a balloons video today like I think I said either two or three videos back Pokemon will probably start on Friday, Friday, December 3rd, so that's when that's going to happen. You know the drill, let's spin the wheel. Finally a new monkey we have not seen yet, the Alchemist Monkey. He's pretty neat, he's got some neat skills in his bag of tricks. Another new monkey, the Ninja Monkey. He's also pretty neat. He's got some cool stuff in his bag of tricks. And the Ice Monkey again. Alright, alright. Finally set up for a moderately priced round and a good camo detecting round. Let's go ahead and randomize this. Hard mode on that map. Could be a very good possibility. Hard mode on this map. Let's go. What is it called? Rake. Hard mode on Rake. Oh, because is it, what is it stylized as? Or is it, yeah, it's stylized as like one of these Zen Gardens. That's what they're called. Can't go raking. I can remove this, like, I don't know, <laughs> monkey Buddha statue. I don't know what you call it. It's just a monkey statue. <laughs> um, just chilling. Of course. We'll start with Oban, we'll get underway, and have a good feeling about this challenge. Hopefully I don't mess it up, because I think we have the towers we need for success. Hopefully I can just use them correctly. Oh shit. I don't think we'll be able to take this mob down, for fuck's sake. Neat. Spend more monkey cash. I oh, literally survived there. Thanks to a few acidic mixtures by our alchemist monkeys. Oh, what's best here? Sure. Oh, nearby ninja monkeys, so I'd have to get some more in the radius. Can do, but that's not an issue. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about camo leads unless these guys like these pools will burn the camos or melt the camo leads like when they run over it I just don't know um, but I'm hoping flash bombs paired with the ninja monkeys would be enough to Oh, see, the camos are not going through the acid puddles, so that's great news, actually. Not really, but it is what it is. Oh, jeez. Me too, I need you to have flash bomb, I think. Do with lead. Lead camos is the issue. Huh. 
Alright, well, we'll s I'll slowly trudge through this. I uh, don't know how much longer I can last. This guy get to level 10. Open's force would be a huge help. So, we'll tough it out. I'm sure we'll be able to succeed. Oh shit, here's round 80 with the Zomga. We've been holding pretty well ever since we got uh, these guys up here. Uh, I have unfortunately spent some monkey money yet again. Um, which is why I don't think I did around 60. Uh, update in this video I was fucking stressed out having to uh, figure out how to fucking solve my issues um, but these guys were pretty much the answer these uh, ninja monkeys with the sticky bomb because it was mobs that were our hugest problem and with these guys I should probably put a few more down these guys they uh, it's like it's so I was correct in needing this route uh, also to get the lead camos with the flash bomb um, but these guys play sticky bombs, which do a huge amount of damage to mob balloons. So, <clears throat> it is, uh, pretty nice to uh, have these guys here. Like I said, I should put a few more down. Excuse me. Um, in the center here around Oban, I have one alchemist, uh, with, the stronger stimulant, the top route. Uh, it's like a, it's a brew, Berserker brew, that uh, gets extra strong Berserker brew that has even more powerful effect on the target and lasts longer. I think it boosts attack and monkeys, extra damage, range, and attack speed, yeah. So basically all the things you could want. Um, so it's not something that he attacks with, but sees... Oban's got the little symbol and some of these monkeys. Well, they got the acidic dart one. They got this acidic uh, mixture dip. Which uh, <clears throat> allows nearby monkeys to pop lead balloons. Do add extra damage to ceramic and mold class. Wears off after several attacks. So he throws out that and Berserker Brew. To help boost the monkeys around him. Although it hasn't affected this guy, so I don't know if Alchemist can't be affected by it or what's the issue there, but he's got these guys, and then of course I have all these ninja monkeys here, and you can see they all gone in the middle route because Shinobi Tactics increases attack speed and the pierce damage of the nearby ninja monkeys, and you can see it stacks to 20 times. Some of these guys I have like stacked to 10 times. Some of these only eight, some of these, oh, this guy's got four. So that's kind of what I'm building down here in this square again, is another stack of these Shinobi Tactic Monkeys. Because um, they are pretty powerful with uh, what they do. So is that 12, so they'll be able to stack 12 times. Because they get it themselves, unlike other stacking abilities, like say when we've had the Druids out. They get their own ability as well, so it counts as one. One counter on them, and then pair it with Ninja Dish Clan Shark Shurikens um, is the way to go. I think I have a few Caltraps ones down here, just one Caltraps, I don't know, a few. But I think with the Shark Shurikens, that's probably the best move with these guys. So go ahead here, hop into free play. Oh, and by the way, I guess I should explain all these alchemists. Uh, all the ones beside the Berserker Brew guy is uh, goes the bottom route, which turns rubber into gold. It's uh, basically an extra way to make money. It's a money-making scheme, if you go. Um, and it's exactly how it sounds. There's uh, the upgrade previous to that one is it turns lead into gold and then this one's rubber to gold so just uh, gives you more money per pop of the balloons 
which I should be spending money if I want to stay in this game. It just leads to a good time, leads to extra cash flow. So that's basically all my alchemist monkeys besides the booster monkey. I don't have any going the middle route, which is makes you pop a concoction that uh, Maybe I should get some of those because that damages mobs. But then it gives you like this transformative uh, tonic, I guess. Transforming tonic. Which turns the alchemist monkey into kind of a monster. Um, and he's got kind of like a super monkey powered ability. Shoots lasers out of his eyes, so. Pretty strong in that regard too, but the money making one is also pretty useful, so that's why I have it mainly in use. Ma, there we go, everybody. Round 94 was the limit in free play mode. Um, so you can see I finished out this square of ninja monkeys, got them upgraded. Threw in a few more of the sticky bomb ninja monkeys. Obviously could have used more. Um, especially for this wave which just had, it seemed like a ton of mobs, that's all it sent. Um, and then when they get down here, still like in mob form, then they explode into fast ceramic balloons. By then it's too late. Um, so all in all, pretty decent. Um, had this guy, the transforming tonic, tonic. Finally bought one of those uh, alchemist monkeys. Surprisingly, did not use the ice monkey at all. He just didn't really seem to fit in. So... Uh, there we go, there we have it. We did that on uh, whatever that map's called. Rake, I think it was, right? Rake! Rake map, all done, all finished up, so. There we go, another random challenge. Down for the count. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, comment, do any and all of those things if you enjoyed the video today, and. As we say up here in Canada, peace out!